We turn now to a widely publicized pet problem at the White House. The president and first lady forced again to remove one of their beloved German shepherds from the premises after a series of biting incidents. CBS's Weijia Jiang has more on Commander's move from the White House to the dog house. President Biden's dog, Commander, was spotted at the White House on Saturday. But after biting someone last Monday night, he no longer lives here. CBS News has learned there have been more than 11 biting incidents involving the two-year-old German Shepherd and Secret Service officers. At least two had to be taken to the hospital for treatment. Following an incident last November, one Secret Service officer emailed a colleague, my leg and arm still hurts. He bit me twice and ran at me twice. A fellow Secret Service officer replied, what a joke. If it wasn't their dog, he would already have been put down. Sources tell CBS Commander also bit White House residential staff and other workers. The dog, a gift from the president's brother, is the second to be removed from the White House. Major bit two people in one month back in 2021. So he's a sweet dog. 85% of the people there love him. He just all he does is lick them and wag his tail. Here. Dog trainer Robert Cabral says canine behavior depends on several factors like genetics, socialization, and training. When you're dealing with the president's dog, nobody's going to want to correct the president's dog. And sadly, when you're in a position of power, people are going to tell you what you want to hear and not tell you the truth. The truth is this dog needs structure. Tonight, the White House is not saying whether Commander is permanently banned from living here on the grounds or if he'll be returning. The Biden dogs are not the first presidential pups to act out either. In just one example, in 2008, President George W. Bush's Scottish Terrier Barney bit a reporter's finger. Nora. I remember that. Weijia Jiang, thank you.